Right. Um, you know, week off and then played. Was do you think Russ was a factor? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, or just a bad game, like first inning, really. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of the first inning, and just uh, you know, we're still trying to figure ourselves out a little bit. So, um, I think the the one thing that we're really trying to um, talk about within our circle is just handling the outside conversations right now on social media and media in general is. Um, just how do you go from this top spot to falling in the rankings and having bad games? But the reality is, we were ranked off last season. It's a new team. We got to figure ourselves out. So that's stuff that we can't control. And um, you know, I think there were some really good things out of the game. I thought Danley threw really well. I thought we had some pretty good at bats. Um, Jason, he's swinging it well. So as we keep building our team, I think there's some positives out of the process of what we're doing. Definitely not the game that we wanted to play or. Um, you know, the position we want to be in for a loss. But as we build this team and work process, there are some quality things out of it. You mentioned Jason is swinging well. She was named um, Player of the Month by mm-hmm. Softball America. Yeah. Obviously, you know, she mentioned she was excited for a little bit and started getting ready for next game. How big of an honor is that? How much you want her to celebrate that and just acknowledge that's a big deal, you know? Yeah, it's a huge deal. Uh, Jason, e, as you guys know, is very calm, cool, and collected, and she's a pretty old soul. So, um, she'll take her little smile and she'll giggle and she'll keep working. You know, she's uh, just loves softball and she just she loves everything about it. So I think that um, she's a high achiever in that sense. And I don't see her, you know, jumping around having ice cream. I think she's gonna get after what she gets after, and that's getting the opportunity to play again this weekend. So I think everyone's pretty hungry to get back out there and um, build off of what you know are the positives and really address some of the negatives and make sure that we can shorten the negative window and be more in the positive window. Might be using the wrong words, but how do you customize a plan for a freshman's development, and then how do you adjust it as you see her on the field, maybe take flight? Yeah, um, so I think the customization, the the personal performance plans that we put together for the players uh, starts in September. Um, So, you know, it goes from just weight training to um, position specific to um, where we want to get you offensively. And so I think when you start sprinkling all those conversations in, you can see some players can handle it. And some some players can't. You know, it just takes time. It's kind of like uh, when you're in grade school and some people can study math and get it and some take longer and study. You know, everyone's just a little bit different. So uh, I think Jason has taken to things a lot quicker, um, you know, and, and she just, she's been around the program a lot longer than other players have. So I think the comfort zone for her is already there. I mean, she's been doing camps since we little. We've been having conversations for a long time about things that we're doing that now she's implementing. So I think that there's a, she got a jump start on that part of it. So, um, so you know, when we start getting into shifting for pitches and being in right spots and you know sitting pitches and this has got this kind of rise ball she's already had those conversations before and, and this is now the doing part and she's been getting after that piece so um, so she's growing um, really well in the smart department uh, in the game of softball so our IQ is really kicking in and it's been a lot of fun to see. I think you guys like I mentioned one game over almost a course of two weeks but I think what eight games in the next five six days yeah. <laughs> so it really picks up and then you have you know a good tournament this weekend. Yeah. I think the double hug against Alabama State, uh, South Alabama, and then South Dakota State, South Dakota State. 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 something State, then Alabama, <laughs> then Alabama, and, and Duke. Yeah. So a lot of games coming up. Yeah. What have you told your players about this coming week, next coming two weeks? You know, just getting ready for a much busier schedule. Yeah, um, we just take care of today. So I mean, we cannot look into the future and. Um, today we had good conversations and some good one-on-ones. I mean, rain brings a good opportunity to, to really get after um, some good bullpen, some good, you know, can't really do the team aspect out in the field, so you can get after the individual aspect. So um, so I think that was today, you know, getting after some, some individual stuff. Tomorrow will be more team stuff, and then it's all about game one down at Florida Gulf Coast, and you just can't look past it. So um, whatever we have ahead of us, we've prepared for that in September, October, and November, and we're here to play the 60 games and get after it and, and try to be better every time we get out there. You mentioned that earlier, just about kind of blocking out some of that social media chatter. Yeah. Is that something that the veterans can say, hey, just kind of relax, it's a long, long haul, and we got to... Yeah, I think, you know, every year you're in the program. Uh, as a freshman, you know, you're in the program, and you're like, oh, what is this program all about? And then the expectations, and then the comments, and, um, you know, handling all that part. And then, you know, you get into sophomore, junior, senior year, and you have pride, and you want the program to be a certain level. So now you're reading them as a different perspective because you're the one that's been in it and you know where you want to go and where we're at and so I think it's a you know even as a coach I read them and I'm like yeah I just want to call this person and have a conversation you know and you can't because they're just all behind their their screens of phones or whatever making these comments and so um so I think good or bad you know and different however social media comes across 
Um, it's something that we have really have to shut the door in the classroom and be like, man, this is all that matters right now. And I, I think that's a really good lesson for life in general. Like um, those people are not downplaying. They're not at our practices every day. They're not knowing what we're about. So they get to judge um, our results, which is fine, but the season's not over and our growing still continues. And so I think that's the one thing that we keep hammering home is, you know, we are a young team and growing right now and we've got to make sure that we stay tight as a unit and not let the outside infiltrate the unit. And that's just definitely what we've been talking about.